The base functions that come with Jamovi are really powerful and truthfully are probably enough to get you all the way through whatever it is you need to do. On the other hand, Jamovi is based on R, the statistical programming language, which has about 10,000 packages available that give extra functionality to R. And it turns out you can do a similar thing with Jamovi through what are called modules. Modules are to Jamovi what packages are to R or to Python. They give you extra functionality. So for example, if you open up jamovimodules.omv, you'll see that I have the standard correlation matrix uh, right here. You can click on this, and then you'll see the commands that come under regression. That's where they come from right here. And I'm looking at the sepal length and the sepal width of the iris data set. And we've got the correlations here, the p-value, and we've got a scatter plot. It goes down in this one corner. It's actually built for doing a matrix where you have many variables. But you know, we get some cool stuff, we get the regression line, we get the standard errors around it, we get density plots for the two variables, and we get the correlation written up here in small corners. But there's a module that allows you to do more than that. If you come up to modules and down to Jamovi library, what you'll find is there's about a dozen modules that are currently available. And the Jamovi developers are making a strong push for our developers to convert there are packages into Jamovi modules. They have instructions on how to do that on their website. And once they're available, you can sideload them, which means you download them separately and then import them into Jamovi. But it's best if they're available through the Jamovi library. We've got one on power analysis, general analyses for linear models. We have method selection. We've got uh, meta analysis. Scatter is a great one for doing plots. Toaster to one sided test base R. This replicates the statistical analyses that are available in the base package in R. We have mediation and moderation. Walrus is a collection of robust statistics developed by Rand Wilcox. And then we have survival analysis called Death Watch and even a little video game here called Jamovi Arcade. All you have to do is click on install and it'll put it in there and then it'll be listed here under installed. Everybody gets this one Jamovi. That's the default. I've added scatter and let me show you what it looks like, why you would want to use one of these extra packages. This is the default version of the scatter plot matrix. I'm going to close the thing here by clicking on the side. But here's the one that I made using the scatter module. And you can tell among other things, it's a lot prettier, it's got more colors going on in it. But it allows me to break down the scatter plot by the species of the iris. And there's a really important thing here. Let's go back up one second here. This is basically a flat and essentially zero regression line through the data. But when we break it down by species, and I'll scoot this over a little bit so you can see all of it, we see that they all have a strong uphill relationship and that setosa in the red is really strong. And then we have the density plots for each variable broken down by the categories on the side. And if I click on this, again, it brings up the menu from the scatter module. And that one, by the way, goes under exploration to scatter and has two functions scatter plot and Pareto chart. But I'm doing this one right here. And it's a great way to get some additional insight. And so modules in general, their role is to bring extra functionality, extra things you can do with your data into Jamovi. Currently, there's about a dozen. But as Jamovi grows and develops, more people who create packages for R will learn to adapt them for Jamovi and give it even more power and even more possibilities.